Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. This is Hafi at Texas Ticket. I want to talk about one of our sponsors, Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor Living Show that's coming to Lake Conroe at Margaritaville, August 27th and 28th. What a great weekend that's going to be at a place that I'm just dying to visit. Margaritaville is a gorgeous property, an IAC resort, got so much available for the entire property, for the entire family. Lots to see, lots of eye candy out there. You can also get your tickets for the August 27th, 28th show at the Margaritaville Resort, qualityhomeshows.com. You can go there and buy your tickets or you can get them at the link below. Thank you to our sponsor, Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor Living Show. This is the Texas Ticket, and this is Armando with a funny voice at the moment, with a funny accent as well. And I've got my host. This is Hoffy. I'm here too. What is that? Uh, the Texas Ticket Show. Yeah, Here's buddy, you yeah, forgot buddy. that. Oh, Dude, man. Come on, man. We gonna rerun on that? Yeah, no, we'll just but go I, with it. I gave you the window and said, "Cheers." It's still the Texas Ticket Show. Yeah, yeah. You can find us on Facebook.com slash TX Ticket. You can find us online at Lone Star Radio dot com slash Texas Ticket. Yeah, yeah okay. buddy. Yeah, okay. There we go. Sounds close. Well, we got a great show for you today, dude. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Yeah, we got uh, uh, we got Bobby Castro with the Ho- Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor Living Show. We've got Jada uh, Bentwater, Bentwater, and I, I. She's got a show adventure on the water. On the water, yeah. Bentwater open to the public, so it's allowing everybody from. Give us more details on it. Yeah, we can get inside the, the Bentwater gate. So we'll be back with that. Oh yeah. yeah. Cheers. We'll be right back. Join us the rest of the show. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back to the Texas Ticket. Yeah, buddy. It's Armando and Hoppy. We're back <laughs> on the Texas Ticket. With us, well, as promised, we have Jada and we have Jonathan. Justin. 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 Yeah, I'm buddy. doing great. <laughs> getting you kicked off. There, though. But I mean, I, I, we're getting to know each other. This yeah. is a first time visit, and, and I'm glad you're here. Hell yeah. Um, and, and we, you know, hash back to why you're here, you know, and, and mm-hmm. that's about, Jada, your, your event you have going on over at Bentwater, right? Yep. On the water. Boat show. On the That's water awesome. boat yeah. show. Adventure, boats, adventure, all kinds of stuff. But, yeah. Will there be actual adventures there? I mean, we're going to like adventure out there a little bit. There is always adventure. I was about to ask if there's going to be a pirate. <laughs> Dude, what we might boats? have the pirate ship. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I heard about this <laughs> Hell yeah. thing. What about that tiki people? There's we got like the a tiki floating people tiki there. people. Oh, yeah. Dude, That's the tiki awesome. Tiki people will be there. Yeah. Mm. Hell yeah, that's going to be a lot that's of fun. That's adventurous. Yeah. Yes, yes. But you're going to be there too, right? Yeah, I'll be there along with four other dealers. Uh, so I'm actually with Texas Boats and Outdoors. Okay. Awesome. Um, we do Veranda Falcon Bass Boats, uh, Veranda's pontoon line. And then we do a lot of uh, golf carts, side-by-sides, ATVs uh, with customization, big into audio, all oh, that damn. kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, and then along with all your boat services and everything. Then there'll be SMG Wake, which they'll have all their Malibus and wakeboard boats, Bennington pontoons. Then you'll have Ski Dock down there, which is Centurion and Supreme wakeboard boats. Okay. Okay. We're doing demos, like a lot. Yes, everything like nice. that. Uh, and all the boats will be in the water. Uh, so they'll be, you know, you'll be able to take a boat ride on them, test them out, everything like that. I'm sure. Dude. Okay. I'm, we uh, haven't hashed out all the details well, of it. Uh, but. We <laughs> haven't <laughs> either. Yeah, we, we, we're... Where is there? Bentwater. Bentwater. Where is it? On the water at the marina. <laughs> it's a big lake. Oh, there's a the marina in there. Bentwater. Yep. Now, yep. now I can't get through that gate. You can on Saturday and Sunday, Are September twenty fourth and twenty fifth. Do you have to say anything specific? Like you uh, have speak to say easy? you're there for the boat show. <laughs> Just, you need to come <laughs> up with a cool password for the adventure boat show. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Got it. And that gets you in the gate. Friday night is a private Bentwater only event. Oh, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I don't know if that's yeah, really right. good to know. I can't get it in. Is. It's private. I can't even go. If you ask nicely, you might be able to get in I there. bet the <laughs> b- folks at Bentwater know. Yeah. They do. How do you talk yeah. to them? We have a magazine. You got we, a magazine. We have a magazine. We have social media. Oh. Yeah. We do a lot of events. Tell me about your magazine. So it is called Bentwater Life. 
the one that's in Bentwater, because obviously. Bentwater so it's like light. your neighborhood circular thing? And exactly. Yep. 52 okay. pages, full color. Oh, damn. That's a lot of work. And you manage that stores. too, right? Yep. I own it. That's my gig. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. And yeah, that's a lot of work, especially with um, just seeing how much, how much passion goes into those magazines sometimes, because yes. people just think it just magically appears, right? Yes. And yeah. it's all resident content. Do you, do you do any scrapbooking in your personal time? No. <laughs> no? Just curious? Just curious? None. Yeah. Seems nope. to go hand in hand. I remember working with uh, the big card cards and stuff, <laughs> doing layout and stuff. It's... It's real Maybe remnant. that's why you're not doing magazines so much. You got tired it's of it. It's real right? remnant of scrapbooking, yeah. you know. I mean, it, it has a whole lot of that cut and paste to it. Yeah. And literal. Literally, not, yeah. Not like left and right click. You know, you got to actually cut stuff out and glue. and. No crafting here. No. None. No. No. Do you use no. the blue pen and stuff? Or do you all do it all digitally when you lay all those digital. things out? All digital. Did you go to school for that? No. No, I went to I school I can see actually go with a, a couple of sprinkles. We call that stuff so with glitter. Glitter, oh, yeah. <laughs> glitter. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Right, Armando's it, done with the speech. open <laughs> up the next page of Bentwater Life and there's a pop-up, you know, yeah. and it comes out and it's like, <laughs> and it's like a boat. Oh, dude, that would be actually awesome. There and you go. And you can, like, yeah. bring the little people up with little tabs, you know, yeah. and like, oh, look, 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 look. You're the one who has to make that happen. <laughs> yeah. I can't even get a perforated page to happen. So. Oh, man. Well, we got a lot of great ideas like that. Just let me know for more. Yeah. You know, you can... Absolutely. <laughs> and then you'll pay for them, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had this great pop-up idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the remnant of scrapbooking, but, you know, works out. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. So do you, do, you, do you skateboard or wakeboard yourself? Uh, I used to. I don't anymore. I got a bad knee, so okay. It's I try, but they tell me wake surfing is what everybody's going to now, and it's okay. a whole lot easier like on your body. Like, like the narrow board, or so just... no, it's it's actually like you just take a surfboard like you see out in the ocean, but okay. it's significantly smaller, and they do it behind the wake of the boat. I mean, you're the boat's going anywhere from I think it's eight to ten miles per hour, and they literally surf <sighs> the wake five foot right behind the boat. We will have professional wake surfers at the show. Yeah. You can so check it out. It's, we'll that's adventurous. Yeah. Yeah. They See? say other than like tubing, you know, because a tube, you just yeah. hop on the tube and go. They say it's one of the easiest things to initially pick up and get out of the water. Oh, I've boy. tried it once, um, but I did not have a good teacher, so it did not <laughs> turn out well. I remember when we were like but, 15, 16, we used to talk to other kids' parents into giving us money to take them out on our on our boat, and we just teach them how to do whatever. And, yeah. You know, every now and then the parent would come <laughs> along, but usually they just dropped their kid off with us, yeah. yep. and we just ride them around the lake. And kneeboarding was our, our first. Yeah, you know, and that, that was, was what I used to do all the time when I was a kid, too. Because you just kind of have the energy to pull yep. yourself up, strap in, and you're good for a little show. You yep. know what I mean? You can go. and. Yeah. And then they get, we had some guys that knew how to kneeboard. But what is that other surfboard-looking thing that's got the little propeller at the bottom? Have you seen those uh, things, uh, the yeah, foil or whatever? Yeah, that's the uh, hydrofoils. Yeah. I don't know a lot about them. I've seen people use them. They look like they're really awesome. There was a dude I've on Conroe that had one once. So. Yeah, I've seen them out on Conroe, but I, I've never done it. I don't know anybody personally that does it, but it looks like it's fun. Dude, I you mean, guys need to bring a couple of those out there and say cheers, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll write that down. Yeah. Just for hobby. Dude, Cheers. <laughs> yeah, you need a, like a, a list of aqu aquatic champions, you know, like yeah. uh, you got a, like a ski champion that represents yeah. your boat dealership and kneeboarding champion, maybe even a bass fishing champion. Well, He's that's the, the oh, bass no fishing side of it is more what we do at our place. And we're working on that, trying to get a somewhat of a team together. It's just there's a yeah. the biggest logistics with everything right now for all of us is inventory. Mm. It, it's a matter of the last two, three years, everybody's, you know, Oh, hey, what sales and specials and everything. And it's the special is we have inventory for you, Dude. you know, and, and it's so it's a matter of I've got guys that they they're very good bass fishermen and uh, they want to be a part of the team. But it's a matter of when I can get one boat every couple of months yeah. for a bass boat, it gets it gets hard to. I mean, those really sales be should be booming it. right now because, I mean, I've been bass yeah. fishing and catfishing this lake my whole life and. You can't fish from the shore right now. It's so yep. hot. You're gonna have to get out yeah. some deeper water. And I mean, there's some point places like at the point Diamond Head. I think mm -hmm. get some deep water there on that yeah. turn right around the corner. A uh, few places by the dam, you get to some deep water. But the rest of it, you got to get on a boat. You know? Yeah, you do. And it's that's the the sales are there. The people who want the boats are there. And it's been the most disappointing thing the last two years right. is you people come in. Man, I, I want a boat. You know, we want to get the family out on the water and. 
You know, just the the yeah. lack of inventory that the manufacturers. Well, we got we got a show coming up. I mean, you, you got to yeah. be prepared to sell we've, something. We've got inventory in stock. We're getting uh, it's getting a lot better now. Cool. Motors, yeah. boats, they're all becoming readily available. I know uh, my buddy Sam Thornton over at SMG Wake, who's going to be with us. I talked to him regularly, and he said that their their Malibus and their Benningtons, uh, the wakeboard boats and pontoons, are and their Regals are becoming readily available. Uh, the guys over at Ski Dock with the Centurions and the Supremes, they, they've actually done very well with inventory. Uh, they've stayed pretty well, you know, adverse of the different models and stuff like that. So I know they have uh, several boats there. I know we'll have at least five boats per dealer of different brands and everything all right there on the dock so you'll be able to it's not just a display model right no yeah. no it's <laughs> damn bring the checkbook out of success yeah. i'm <laughs> no, walking away with it now yeah it's, give me the keys what were you gonna say no i was gonna ask you so did you grow up on the lake knowing all this stuff uh, or you i just, actually just grew up it? in michigan on lake michigan so i've been on the water my entire life yeah. um i moved down here 10 years ago on a whim i got bored of the cold and working in a factory i grew up manufacturing facilities and yeah. uh I got in with a gentleman named Randy Nichols, who's been around the boating industry for over 35 years. Yeah. Kind of taught me a lot of stuff along with a bunch of other people along the way. And it's just kind of blossomed into what it is now of I That's awesome, Texas man. boats and outdoors. And oh, yeah. So you, uh, everything was in Conroe or outside of Conroe? Uh, everything. I originally moved down here to Clear Lake. Okay. And then about six months, I just wasn't a huge fan of it down there and they were opening a new location at the place i worked at up here they needed somebody to open it for them on lake conroe yeah. so i did that and then a year later i got offered a job by randy and who i'd met a year earlier when i first moved and yeah. he kind of taught me a lot of what i know and then i've got a lot of other great people in my life that have taught me a lot of things and just figured it out as we go along. You know, it's just kind of a learning curve deal, but. He sold out of boats, all right? Yeah, that's awesome. Dude. Good <laughs> for you, man. It's been a lot of fun. You, you almost yeah. sold out and you got a show coming. That's a good place yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah, especially Bain Porter, man. I mean, it's a cool mm-hmm. spot as well. Everything we've seen as well. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, there'll be some really nice luxury pontoons there. Like I said, the Benningtons. Um, I know they have the Bentleys coming from. I'm drawing a blank. Big, Big D, D Marine. Uh, Big they, D. Yeah. Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> They've got Bentley pontoons coming. Then they have the Phoenix and the Camus bass boats along with, then I'll have the Falcon bass boats. So we'll have a really good variety all in the water. People can ride on one boat, come back, go out, ride on the other boat. Yeah. And it's a direct comparison of brands. And it's it's the way a boat show should yeah. be. We went out to a you network know? and get together and, and we were all wearing our, you know, that name tag that they put on you and yep. they, you just kind of handwrite your stuff on there. <laughs> yep. and, it, and it like, it, it said your, 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 my name and underneath it I put angler. <laughs> and, and so I'm like, uh, hey, uh, Jody, mayor. And, and the other guy's like, uh, city council. You know, the other guy's like, CEO, such and such. Armando, angler. You know, like, oh. Oh, interesting. You know, it was like the, it was like a, it was like a big deal. It was it was a good thing. I mean, uh, I felt like I was in there with the angler technique. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, if you put that on your name, uh, you really got to be an angler. Yeah. And I know some serious anglers. <laughs> I mean, really, uh, with much respect, serious yeah. some fellas that that I mean, uh, uh, Robert Bainey, owners yep. uh, ConroeBass.com, and uh, we helped build that site at Go Lake Conroe. That was one okay. of, we do a lot of local media and marketing and. ConroeBass.com yeah. was our one of our first yep. breakout sites, you know, and it was like, but he took off. It didn't even look like, yeah. I mean, he's he's the real yeah. deal. I mean, uh, that man's raising deer and yeah. he, he he runs a fishing tournament. The uh, what was it? The uh, uh, Headhunters, Headhunters yeah. fishing tournament, and it's yep. it's a weekly evening three hour three yeah, stringer. They they do the Tuesday and Thursday tournaments. That's right. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Um, I used I've did it for a long time up until this year. I haven't had been able to do it this year, but it uh yeah the tuesday nights they do the best three fish as a team and then thursday they got big nights, bass too right yes they got thursday big night bass. is big bass so it's basically the guy who catches the biggest bass wins and robert says he's coming on the show you know his wife miss Bainey. she's the, the one who runs the show she the is show. <laughs> i was about to say oh, that yeah, she's awesome tra- she's a school teacher she and is, she runs she that show she awesome. runs the choir at medley ranch elementary where my kids go and she yep. has taught my daughter to sing i'll tell you that right now <laughs> yeah i go to the shows and then they, they're like 
it's the best. It, it's such a such a great family yep. friend. She's and, an and, amazing and, and, woman, and, and he's he's awesome. He yeah. he's taught me a lot of stuff for fishing and everything. Right. And uh, it's like yeah. you know, I, I was I, I'll tell you this quick story. Not to take too much time, but this these these fellows kept kicking our butt in that three fish stringer, and I'm like, man, these older guys. I mean, they're, they're, I don't believe this story, you know. And, and second time here they come again. I'm like, man. Really? You guys been out there for three hours? You came back early. You got the fattest <laughs> stringer I've ever seen. You know, come on. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to have to call you guys out on this one. And they're like, well, I'll take you and your friend there on a, uh, what's the biggest bass you ever caught? And I said, yeah, a little over five pounds. And the other guy's like, a little over six. And he goes, well, I'll take you both out till you, ca- till you catch the biggest bass you've ever caught in your life. Yep. And then I'll bring you back. 300 bucks each. We're like. Biggest bass I ever caught. So you gonna break that? And he goes, "Yeah, we were on the lake for 15 minutes, <laughs> and our trip was over. They dropped us yeah. off. We're less 600 bucks, oh, yeah. and the day's over. He can fish 15 That's... minutes. <laughs> yeah, we well, were like, no way. And he didn't like hold my hand like some guy trying to teach a girl how to play pool. Yeah, you know, no, no. He just yep. throw it over there. And yeah. it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, are oh, you yeah. kidding me? Because yeah. Lake Conroe has it's it's a completely different body of water than everywhere else. It was. It, uh, the fishing, you can be the best fisherman in the world, everywhere else in the world, and you come to Conroe, and y- you can't catch a fish. I, I don't mean, know. What, it no, changes I... every day. I mean, you can literally go out right now and catch the biggest five fish you could imagine. Go pick your buddy up, and an hour later, go to the same spot with the same bait, and all that happened was the cloud moved a little bit, uh, and you won't get another bite. Changes by it's degree, crazy. half degree. Uh, yep. He was talking about light docks versus dark docks, painted docks versus unpainted docks, ladders versus slides. I mean, he is in oh, yeah. the water to the bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yep. it's crazy. Yep. So, Jada, tell, tell us a little bit about um, uh, you working with the, um, the Water Life magazine yep. and, and, and that and how it got you to this event. Well, I actually got to this event because people kept asking me to do it. That's right? awesome. It's been yeah, a couple years in the making, right? Like we want on the water, we want boat show, we want all of the things. Um, so yeah, I started the well, the magazine started. I took it over in 2016, okay. and I've been doing it ever since. So I love it. I all my content comes from residents, which is great. Yeah. Which is also it's nice. It is nice, but it's also, you know, sometimes the things that people want to print, you know, like <laughs> Fido's pooping in my yard. Here's a picture. Put that in. No, not putting that in the magazine. But. Yeah, I've seen all those skits good. making fun of all the HOA magazines and newsletters and, and our <laughs> websites and social media posts and everything else. It's like just how one neighbor's. Yeah, you know, we had a ladder sticking too far out of the driveway at 104.5 Don's Edge, you know, and it's like, uh, what? You know, yeah. the truck's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's every 10 minutes. Yeah. You could have used the driveway instead of the street next time. It's like this whole discussion, and I think the discussion went on twice as long as that car sat in the driveway. Yeah. You know, it's nah, so but it's awkward. Like, like, if you listen to it sometimes as well, I mean, people are making folks, fun of us. Is yeah, what I'm saying. but it's, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's some of those folks. I mean, this is the life, though. But they read it. Yeah, they do. And I make yeah. my money from advertisers, so and, and that's we, the deal, we all right? get it. I mean, yeah. we, 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 our neighborhood's the same. We're all in the Bentwater, April Sound, you know, seven. Whatever. Coves, he's gonna be 20 years from now. He's gonna take that Ben Porter uh, Life magazine. It's like, man, that letter, this and that, and Fido pooping in this yard and whatnot. And then you see him complaining. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it, it, I, I can't catch just... no bass feast because this person's uh, parking his truck in front of my spot where I always fish. Yeah, or, or, uh, uh, it's more like uh, I don't want to throw anything <laughs> out there about what's going on at the Walden Marina, but you, know, you can't <laughs> fish there anymore. Let's just put it That's that way. That's not my fault. That's know, that one. Yeah, know, no, dude, it's yeah, privately no. owned. Safe Harbor. It's funny think, he's yeah. looking at me for that. It's privately held. Yeah. So they, you can't fish on the, on the shore there anymore. The folks in Geneva, Oscar May, what the hell is I know, I know. Yeah. We, we, we've got a team in Geneva that works with a lot of our <laughs> perplexing questions, and you know, we, we, they, and, and we, we work with them often, you uh, know, we just they take a lot longer, you know, three week turn times on information and small answers to questions like, can I fish at the safe harbor or Walden Marina? <laughs> Apparently, not is the answer we got back, but. You know, it is what it is. So just a little more reason to get a boat and go to a boat show. Yeah, you know, right? I mean, so when is this? You yeah. deal with that coastline bureaucracy or you can go out in the deep water and do whatever you yep. want. I think right. that Texas Parks and Wildlife will give you 25 feet and you better let me know you're coming, right? I mean, isn't that the angler disposition? I get 25 feet off my boat? Yeah, for, I mean, for the most part, tournaments have their own rules. You know, when you get into the tournament side of it, they have their own rules of, 
different feats and yardages and stuff like that. But for generic use, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of it's just a common courtesy thing of, right. hey, man, if I can cast on your boat, you're a little too, too close. close. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think people really understand what that word wake means. Yeah. You know, we no. talk about it and throw it around. And they're just like, oh, yeah. 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 They, they don't get it. No. They, they see don't a sign get that says wake. To you know, go slow. Mm, yep. They're like, oh, oh, no way. Go oh, good. I'm glad there's no wake here. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, that's not what we meant. You know, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you make no down. wake. Yeah. yeah, you. It's yeah. about you. Um, so, so no, just uh, that date wise again. Yeah. Just to go back and because I don't want to forget about the date because obviously there's a lot that's of stuff important. going on. Yeah. Yes, right. September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Awesome. Oh, we got a while. Yeah, yeah. September while. 24th, 25th. Are you, open uh, to the public. Are you, are you open to vendors? Can more people right. come? Yes, that is one of our big things right now. We want sponsors and vendors. So uh, if you want to be in front of people who care about boats and adventure, let me know. There you go. Okay. How do they get in touch with you? They can find us on Facebook. Just type in On the Water Show, and they'll find us. They can get all the information for sponsors and vendors there. Oh. You got a phone number on call? Or should we say that on the radio? I mean, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I don't want people to start blowing you up, you know. But yeah. you know, if that's you, not a bad thing, if you right? Say your number you know on I mean? show, you'll probably get a billion phone calls. That's All what right. just that's what everybody keeps telling me. I know. <laughs> yes, I will give you my number. It is two eight one two four five. Eight one zero zero. I wrote that down for you. Yeah, they can see me. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot they know I'm not really writing that down like till I get home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's the times of the show, basically yeah. all day. All day. Ten to seven. Sunday we're doing church on the water. So if you have a boat or you want to come to church in Bentwater, Do North Shore. Megaphone? North Shore Church is doing it. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. Great, day don't for, have great day for a great day for a baptism. You know, come on out in the water, step a little bit deeper. What does that show? It was Yeah, yeah. That's a little well, different though. But we, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some christening while we're out here today. But food and drinks available out there? Or? Yes. Okay. Yep. So we'll have food trucks on Friday, and then Sunday we have a sponsor that they want us to wait one. They don't want us to promote it until a couple weeks before, but they'll be providing food on Sunday. Um, but what type of food trucks? I like my food a little Nacho bit. Nacho Bira, that's one of our big ones. I know. Uh, I know. I already know he's coming Sunday. They want to uh, give her the full answer. I bet I can get it. Hang on, write it down. Can you tell me if I'm right or not? I mean, we have the answer. They said just hold off. Yeah. All the powers that be. Is that your food truck? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no. Sunday oh, is a full okay. sponsor. How, think, oh. think grocery store in three letters. Okay. 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 So not <laughs> I didn't say amazing, it. Amazing. No. Amazing. I yeah, do we'll love that. Yeah, we'll have Nacho Bira. We'll have... Um, that's awesome. Cajun. Creole. Creole. Oh, dude, we'll have... Awesome. Um, yeah. Prime Bistro is going to be out there. Um, they don't actually have a food truck, but they're serving food. So oh, that's that'll cool. be good. Yep. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. That's so it'll different. be good food. Yeah. Music. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I forgot about that. So... Saturday is Battle of the Bands. There's a battle. Battle of the Bands. Yep. So we have on our page, like on our Facebook page, you can go in and nominate a band if you Who's want. Who's battling? Whoever gets nominated and gets the most votes. Okay. So if you know a band that's good, go in. A lot of our budget's going for the band. But Battle of the Band, they get the title. Right now we have three that are currently. Signed up? Yep. Can you and tell us what that competition looks like? Well, a guitar, some drums, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a young band, which is super fun. Like they're more like a high school band, but they're really cool. Yeah. And then we have some old people, which is great because Bentwater people like old people. Hey, it's but awesome. that's cool on the water. You yeah, know? dude. Yep. And, and I've, then, seen, I, I've seen some pretty vicious high school bands. And, yeah. You know, nice. and, and, and down here on, on, on 105, I know there's a Spire Music, there's, the, uh, there's a two others that they train youth only for music and concert and band gig scenarios which i thought was totally I new and awkward reach out to them that's a good one so and they and they kill it they, they're they're it's like that school of yes. rock deal yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. they're there and crazy. there were a couple of young bands the tucker tequila margarita festival in old town spring had a really young band i can't remember the name it was like dangerous or something like that but there wasn't a member in that band under, uh, over 15 no, you know no. i was like holy cow are you guys oh, for yeah. real and they're just up there just rocking out but they're playing old good music as well yeah it's like metallica like, and yeah, song, some really cool songs yeah. as well they weren't uh, they weren't even born when these yeah. songs came out you know and it's like and, and they are killing it yeah. i mean and, and it's hard to call it a cover tune if 
they never really heard the original, you know. <laughs> yeah. They weren't like, even a dang. thought. Yeah. yeah, I was like, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. But um, so um, just rehash on the event. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're gonna come out to Bentwater. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, September twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. Okay, so the full weekend. Sundays, the church on the waters. Backing up Saturday, you get a um, a battle of the bands. Yep. And the food bands. trucks on Friday, Sunday's trucks unknown, and we're gonna bring everybody out. And uh, we're looking for vendors out there. Yep. You're doing advertising for the event itself in that edition. Does there still time to get into the next edition of the uh, Bentwater magazine? Yes. Yep. Before the event. Yes. Is there a pairing with some advertising going with the event itself? Yes, that is all included, but that deadline is the 15th to get in the print. This 15th. This 15th, which is like Monday or Tuesday. August 15th? August, sorry. What did I say? Oh, that's right. August. That's behind Mm -hmm. us now. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but nevertheless, we can look forward in the next coming issue. Let's see. We can look forward in the next coming issue going ahead uh, to see where your progress was there and to see some of the attendees and whatever mm-hmm. list you have as of current. But, dude, that's going to be cool. Is, are you talking about Bocha and Connor? That's going to yeah. be probably well attended. That's for sure. Yeah. When does that oh, the get biggest... distributed? Just really quick. I'm sorry. That that last one. That when, do, when can I see the Be Local? Uh, be, uh, Bentwater. Bentwater. Or yeah. we didn't even talk about Be Local. That's the other publication. But The Bentwater Life magazine. It's when distributed just... every month. We have First? A, it's 15th-ish. Whenever the post office decides to put it in the mailbox. <laughs> okay, so I'll give you like a week before the event, 12 days yeah. from distribution, you think, mm-hmm. to mailbox to event. Yep. The digital publication goes out at the first of the month. I see. Okay. So, there's so we'll look there. for that. And yes. I'm sorry, you had a question. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, no, you're good, dude. No, we were just talking about how yeah, feeling that it's going to be well attended. It's Lake Connor, man, dude. Yeah, it's the, the biggest thing for all of us is, is, you know, and it's no offense to the Houston Boat Show and all of that stuff. But our community up here is what our main focus yeah. is. They, they are the majority of our customers is the people who are on this lake. And even the people in, say, Bentwater or Walden that they don't live up here full time. Yeah. It's their summer house. From the point of Memorial to Labor yeah. Day, that's what they classify home. And those are yeah. the people that we want to make sure are taken care of. And they don't have to drive all the way down to NRG Center to go look at a boat uh, they can come right here they can touch it feel it look at it uh, get the pricing on it they can get in it they can drive it they can ride around in it and all of just that enjoy stuff. it yeah so i mean it's and i'll give you kudos though, though as well i mean every time i have to use the referral to or refer, reference for walden i have to say yeah you know where april sound is yeah yeah or if they don't do you know where bentwater is yes yeah we're so, in the middle <laughs> so yeah we're in the middle but I'll, I'll give you kudos for it as well because you guys are really on the map obviously so mm-hmm. Thanks a lot yeah. for being a reference. Yeah. yeah. Well, we so, love it. so in in, yeah, in, in, in in finalizing here, uh, let me ask you this. I have a question yeah. really quick. Um, let's say I got decent credit and I want to ride a boat. Can I come to you for help there? Yeah. I mean, so we and all offer, offer financing. Yeah, okay. um, all five of us dealers, we have financing that we offer. Um, I mean, interest rates are kind of all over the map at the we're current gonna go 50, moment 50? but yeah i was about it, to say how i mean we i think t- together we got about a 600 if you add it up i mean well i don't have any problem sending it in okay <laughs> uh, well, there, there you what's go what's the folks. worst they can do is say uh-huh. no i know I, I know we get a lot of those but you know it's it's a numbers game eventually yeah. you know i don't know if that works with credit as well as it works with other things but yeah, you know you put in enough applications you're gonna get a line of credit yep exactly but yeah we all have financing and it, it's you know <laughs> it's not gonna happen and I get, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. But yeah. you're surprised. And will you be able to do that there? Yes. Okay. Super. Um. So it's like I said. I mean, all of us between our websites and what we'll have there for financing, all of that stuff. Because boats aren't always a whim decision. And and, yeah. and you know, when I got out there, you get to see it, and you, you're yep. like, hey, you know, we always wanted a boat. The, I mean, who doesn't? But you know, if you if there's some creative financing, maybe there's yep. an opportunity to take well, that and step. It's, it's also it's deposits are no longer a sales tactic. It is with lack of inventory. It's a necessity at this point because the most disappointing thing that we have as boat dealers, salesmen, anything is when you come in and look at a boat before lunch and say, hey, I'm going to run home, eat some lunch, grab my wife, and we're going to come back this afternoon. They don't put a deposit down. And then when they come back, somebody walked in. So an really quick on, on resales. Uh, if so, I buy a boat from you today and I want to resell it in three years from now to get the upgraded model, can you help me with that? Yeah. 
Okay. Yes, Super. we yes we um, all do consignment sales. We do trade ins. All of us do that. How's um, that? How's that action working? I guess it's a it's a it's hot model right now since boat, we don't have yes. new ones. Used boats. Uh, the market is very high right now. Um, it, it's there's it's getting again back with inventory. Because um, those with cash and good credit COVID. like to ride their boat for free. I, I'll yeah. tell you right now, <laughs> I'll, I'll buy one and I'll wait three, four years. I sell it. I buy a new one. That way I get exactly what I paid for the old yeah. one. You know what I mean? So I yep. wrote for three years. I didn't pay a dime, but a little interest in that awesome stereo you installed. Yeah. So let me ask you this really quick, Jada, before we take off. Uh, Want to recap with us how we can find the event, how to f- get to it, how to attend, how to, how to have some fun. And, and I want to ask you on the show... To come back again before September, mm-hmm. end of September, and, and rehash this again. Maybe bring another guest from one yeah. of the other vendors and give us some idea of how it's progressed. Because I know there's a lot of time still between now. I mean, well, thirty plus days. We got uh, ish. You know, we yeah. got some time to to hopefully put more adventure into the adventure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you it. come back and tell us about it. So leave them with whatever you want to leave them with. Awesome. And final notes here. Facebook on the water show. Admission is free. I didn't mention that before. So all that oh, cool stuff, free. You can Battle come out, get free. those wake surf laughing. So my invitation to you guys, come out and wake surf and let us take videos. I can do that. Right? Come <laughs> yeah. out and try. It's free lessons. I'll need board. Yeah. If, if someone's got a camera, I only need board. That's it. <laughs> so all right, we'll see you uh, again here soon before September. Yep. Okay, great. Awesome. great, great. We'll get you out here back on the show. And I know you mentioned a few other names, some other vendors that, we, that should come on the show and visit with us. But guys, check them out online. Check them on Facebook. You can check us right in here in the notes. We're going to leave some uh, uh, in the comments for you uh, how to find the event, mm-hmm. how to attend it. And it's Gates Open, public welcome, free event right over there at Petwater. We'll be back after this, folks. We'll be right back. Just, just. <laughs> Every Friday, tune into Texas Ticket on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 FM with Armando Nino of Go Lake Conroe, focusing on Montgomery County area events and places. Get a feel of the Texas spirit at the event, paired with guest and vendor interviews, event coverage, and ticket giveaways, and so much more. Join us Fridays and punch your Texas ticket. For more information on the show, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Texas Ticket. Welcome back to the Texas Ticket Show. This is Armando. Yeah, buddy. Here we I go. got with me Bobby Castro, Quality Home Shows, and representing the Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor Living Show, August 27th to 28th at Margaritaville, Lake Conroe. You made fun of me when I said that. How do I say? Margaritaville. Margarita. Say Margaritaville? Margarita. No, say Margaritaville. Margaritaville. Yeah. <laughs> he always makes fun of me. No, that's it. Anything, anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm not making fun of you. Yeah, just acknowledging a cool accent. It's just different. It, it, you know, I mean. Acknowledging with a good used, laugh afterwards. My it's grandma used to always say, Winder. <laughs> you know, did you roll down the Winder? Oh, that's actually awesome. Or Wash. <laughs> wash. Hell yeah. Chested drawers. <laughs> mayonnaise. I like that. Mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise, some good looking girls out here today. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of words yeah. that, you know, you can play with a little bit. It, and then there's, you know, it's 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 not what you say, but how you say oh, it. Oh, absolutely. You know, like, let's eat grandma. All right, <laughs> let's eat grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Too, was totally, that one of your Father Day jokes? Totally different meanings, though. Remember those? Like, no, I was You brought those back? But I, no, I, you know, it. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm a DIY guy, so you know, going to a home show just like oh. it's all the it's all the people that make me pay to do this stuff. Dude, you it's know? so worth it, man. After uh, me and that uh, towel job, obviously it came out really good, but man, I felt it afterwards. So oh, I talked God. about this show multiple times, and I was like excited to get this guy out here. This man, get those professionals out there, honeydew list, cheers. You can, you can narrow that down out there. You got everybody coming, huh? Tell us a little bit about the Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor Living well, Show at Margaritaville. It's, it's basically, it's going to be August 27th, 28th. Uh, we've got, damn, we've got over 100 exhibitors. Um, basically, uh, we got food trucks out there. We mm. have rinkers. Boat World will be out there showing boats. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, food they'll have boots. They'll have boot, uh, boat, so boats on the, uh, in the water as well as... Uh, um, out back as well. But can I get can I get my bathroom redone if I walk through there? Absolutely. Can I get my roof redone? Totally. What about flooring? We got plenty New of plants. Flooring. Plants. Now we are going to have a big sale since it's the week before Labor Day weekend. So uh, AFW, which America's Furniture Warehouse, is doing oh. a big blowout sale furniture. Those sale. are people here in I forty five. The brand on new 45, place. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice place. That's fancy. Awesome. 
Um, Rustic Warehouse is also doing a blowout sale. Did they get involved? That's great. It's they good to see them They got involved and they got a huge booth. They got a 16 by They've 30. got some nice stuff. Dude. They, they, they just upgraded their, their store. Yeah, yeah, they've got very, some real... Very, it was surprising. Very, I walked in there first yeah. time to their store. It was surprising to see, but I think it was a great idea for them to take advantage of the show. That way, everybody can see. You right. know, I mean, because... I walked in the first thing. If you walk into a place and the first thing you're like, oh my God, I didn't know it was like this. Uh, you know, that that's means right. something's wrong with your marketing strategy there. I mean, they need to be out there showing people how good. Well, they are. They're, yeah. they're getting out there and they're This is a about wise move, it. I think, there. Yeah, I think they're going to do really well, too. They got mm. some really unique custom furniture. Stuff you can kick. That's stuff awesome. stuff that will outlive you in there. I'll tell you, there's, there's strong, strongly made uh, furniture in there that, and I, and I, they do it yourself. I can't kick. I'll tell you that. That stuff. It's, it's solid furniture. I mean, it, yeah. it, it's yeah, rustic. It's amazing. Rare house. There. We also have uh, Wilson's Appliances, which will have a blowout sale, too, since it's Labor Day the following weekend. They're also going to do a sale. Those so guys do appliance repair. I mean, from high yeah, end to middle. Who's this? Low end. Wilson Appliances. Wilson repair. Appliances. Oh, no way. Yeah. So and those guys be- do the, um, um, you know, I can't tell you. I mean, of course, with Go Lake Conroe, we yeah. monitor a lot of social media, and we look for this and that's all over the internet. And I, can anybody tell me anybody that knows how to replace or repair my frigidaire? You know what I mean? I can't <laughs> tell you how many broken microwaves and Duh. stuff that people call about ACs. You name it, appliance wise, it's such a weird thing. I mean, it's almost it's it's weird to haul it off. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, no, you're right, dude. It's sitting in the backyard. You have a dishwasher back there for six months before somebody finally comes to get the thing. I mean it. Maybe it's just a Texan deal, but it's right back there. It's right back there with the old toilet well, yeah, in the backyard. Oh my you buy one from them, they'll haul it off for free. Oh, no that's way. Great. That's awesome. Yeah, Absolutely. and, and, and um, I did get a chance to meet Innovative Tough Turf Design, yeah. uh, and those guys were some of the coolest people, way down to earth. And, you know, they do a lot of business in Houston, and, and, and that seemed like an oxymoron to me. And they're like, yeah, no, we do a lot of business in Houston. And I'm like, my friend's got a patio. It's like three by five in a downtown high rise. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm in his back porch wondering what kind of work you're doing in Houston. You know, I mean, <laughs> I got a 10 acres out my back porch. Dude, it's you know? Houston. Yeah. 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 Like, about to say it's this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Turf's a great idea to go yeah. now, man. I mean, I'm telling you, everything. Is. Is, Makes like, a big my difference. yard right now is brown. It's not even green. Yeah. Right? And you can do the putting greens and stuff. Putting yeah. greens well, and you can make it fun. Good. You know, yeah. it's not just replacing the grass. I mean, think about it. You wouldn't need a lawnmower or anything. Anymore. Nothing. And I talked to him. Yeah. He, he just That's said he, he told me he does all. And he's been here on the show. I think, yeah, yeah, and he told me he did he did um, all the uh, irrigation systems. He moves around the sprinklers. He digs up the turf. He replaces everything. And he does he's, it right. More yeah, than he's ever. top to bottom. He d- he does the whole you know the whole thing. It's not like this little bit he left out. Like yeah. he did, oh, I didn't realize it was going to be a sprinkler system. You know, he, it, yeah, which he I knows, thought was a nice. Yeah, touch, he's, he's you know, very good at it. There's a lot of guys out there that don't know what they're doing, and the weeds grow right through literally it. right through it. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't do it right, it's not going to get. It's not going to look right. You'll be Pulling weeds the rest of your uh, the time that you have the turf, yeah, and it uh, looks gorgeous. I mean, I saw it, their it photo really does. collection. Yeah. It's like, man, I, I don't know what they do, but I want that in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're gonna go there and play the back nine. Yeah, he's gonna, yeah he's gonna put that nice. What do you call it? Uh, uh, washing machine in the back and chip into that. Pull yeah, it can be like a little putt yeah, place you go. where you got like, into then, the washing yeah, machine. Yeah, and then toilet like inside through the washing machine yeah. over Sign the toilet, the garden yeah. toilet. You know, the the, the bathtub <laughs> full of flowers. You know. It's like, <laughs> oh, dude, I can see already working it out. Which one was which one? Oh, man. part three in the backyard. You know, and, and we were we were just laughing about the, the do-it-yourselfer versus getting a pro to do it. Oh. One of the nice things is when I walk into a, 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 a place and I want to get it done, it seems like it's the only place. You know, they're not, like, lined up next to each other. Mm-hmm. So if I go get a, a tile bid, it, it seems like I'm, like, a thousand miles from the next tile place and a full-service solution so when they offer me a solution to replace the tile in my living room or bathroom or yeah. something or, you know, or the flooring or whatever I cho- chose to do where my mind's wandering and home improvement, and it just seems like if they were all lined up together, I could make a better decision. And that's the beauty of those shows. I, I've I got, for so. instance, i got three flooring companies. i got Express Flooring, 
uh, floor and decor. That's what I would. Yeah, uh, and, floors and for living. But you see what I mean? Those are three. Now you can walk you through their booth. You can you know, talk to them, see what yeah. they have. Yeah. You go to the next booth, you'll find them. You know. Uh, but it's over. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, yeah, you Absolutely. get all the options in one place. Otherwise, you're like, I spent one day. I called that one place, honey, here, and then I called yeah. that one place. It's all in the one roof. Called that one. Place, yeah, but it's also like if you're comfortable doing business with somebody. I mean, you're talking about this is your castle. So obviously, you want to make sure it's done properly. And if you get along with somebody. They said uh, a bondage in the bowl. I'm still thinking about that whole front porch thing. They say the most people's home improvement is about adding a front porch. I mean, when I was growing up, my dad wanted to add a bathroom. He just went outside and did it. You know what I mean? He just started doing it. I mean, put it right there. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, no, right there. Mark it. And then you just be like, and he'd mark it. You know what I mean? But like my neighbor's <laughs> adding, a, adding a, a, a porch on. He's got like the surveyor out in the street, you know, stopping cones and traffic. Yeah. You know, they got. All right, can we just move that over 3%? Yes, yeah. okay, great. You know, and he's all <laughs> marking it out, you know, and I'm thinking the whole time, God, Lena, make sure you're making a big deal about his shit. And then the clean, yeah. complete opposite, just put the toilet in the corner over there. Yeah, we added an extra bathroom. We've done a couple <laughs> hours, you know, and it, you know, but that was back, you know, a long time ago, and I don't know. I, I got That's a whole different lifestyle, isn't it? It is. I think yeah. it's just I think thing. now the, the big trend is backyards, the patios. Nothing like yeah. a door before. Instead of the front, door. everything goes to the back. Yeah, and everybody put everybody sinks money. Uh, during, Ideally, during COVID, yeah. no one could do any business really because they couldn't go into the homes. The people that would had oh, outdoor yeah. living oh, killed yeah. it. I mean, they basically they had so much business uh, they couldn't even handle it. No so way. much business because everybody's decided. Well, you know what? My kids can't go uh, can't do a, a party for their graduation. Uh, Just we're not going to be outside. able to take a, a vacation. Let's sink our money back into our home, and that's what they did. They put yeah. pools in Smart. their backyard, outdoor kitchens, and they killed it. Yeah, that's so if you awful. get a back patio door, and then you put a door after that door, and you spend your money between the doors from your front door to your door. It's like ideally you could have a house within a house, <laughs> behind your house. With AC or no AC? It depends on you. You can you can try to run it out, but yeah. you know, and have an extra income on Ooh. the house behind the house <laughs> through the other door. You know, it's like two houses in yeah. one. I mean, you can home home renovate yourself into so basically a whole he's new gonna say palace. he's gonna sleep in the dog house after this. <laughs> I was like, cheers, dude. There you go, go but to I, the I, other house. I saw the vendors list. I think it's what five bucks to get in August twenty seventh. It's, it's, it's gonna be eight dollars at the eight. door, five dollars online if you buy. Your tickets well, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Buy go that qualityhomeshows dot to yeah, get your tickets. Get that qualityhomeshows dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Get those tickets for five dollars. Save three dollars per person at the door. There's military, police, responder discounts. I thought thought there, I saw. There is. There is. Okay. Yeah. Dude, that's actually awesome if you think about it for what you pay and how many professionals you get in one yeah. roof. I mean, driving from one spot to another. Save I mean, all if that you money have, on gas. If you're Dude, planning on doing one if, roof, if, if you're even yo, thinking about it. Shopping. Yeah. Totally. If you're that's even thinking way. about it. Yeah. Now, yeah. The, beauty, the beauty about Margaritaville is you can come by car or you can come by boat. Both. Which is really nice. Yeah, and, and I'm not in a warehouse. You know, yeah. I, I like that too. I mean, I, it's still my weekend. You know, I, I, I still got to do all my honeydews. I still yeah. got to fix the bathroom. Do I have to go to a shed to do this? You know, do I got to go out there? Do I got to drive downtown? Yeah. Do I got to do that? Because I got to do this, and I can't do it while I'm at work every day. So this seems like a real nice fit. Oh, well, yeah. it is. That Affordable. We, we will be having a uh, beer and wine tasting there, too, with some local breweries and wineries, uh, as well as food trucks. Yeah, I, so I, get I, you a little heard, tipsy, uh, and then, hey, man, sink into this. <laughs> I, I heard our, our hyper super friend, Robin, might be out there. She is. On our way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bernard Winery yeah. will be out there. I didn't want to mention it without. And, and, and our other friend, Carrie, right? B52. B52. Oh, B52. Chris, right? Chris, Chris, Chris with a K. Yeah, yeah I, I, I keep calling Carrie because we had Carrie Gaw yeah. from uh, Air Ergot MMA, you know. Uh, oh, dude, I almost forgot about that one. I mix him with yeah. the other Chris because he's C R I S. And they were the same day as well. Yeah, they yeah. were the same day. So it kind of really messed with me. But I, I can. We did the Otaku Festival right after that. We yeah. made a video for that. You can check that out online at. Uh, the Go Lake Conroe YouTube page, and uh, we shared that with uh, uh, the Texas Ticket page. But man, that was super fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and as far as events go, getting out, getting out of the house, there's a lot of real opportunity. If we we're going to do something, and I need to fix something on my house, what a great come talk to the pros. I mean, They're there. Uh, uh, yeah, right. I mean, and totally. it's a pretty place. I mean, it's fun. I want to go there anyway. Yeah, but it's uh, how many people I haven't seen Margarita Bowl as well. So might as well that's go check what it I'm out. Yeah, about. yeah. That that's the best part. Yeah. I mean, and, and I mean, it's not like I don't have to do this or. 
I mean, if we've made a choice as a family to get that back porch to mm-hmm. put in a pool or at, fix, we got to fix the roof and we, we're we collectively on the same page at our home, you know. Absolutely. Uh, Margaritaville seems like a good out. I mean, it, it, me going to Home Depot, I'm wandering in thought. Law, I mean, yeah, I'm so far from what I needed to do, you know, I think this is the best call. It Because it's, uh, what, five bucks? Online? Yeah, online, five, five bucks, bucks online. <clears throat> and everybody's there already, you know, so at least I can shop that much and if i still don't feel comfortable i can procure that wiser i mean i've, I've actually talked to professionals and people and i got insights i i built built a relationship around someone mm-hmm. that i didn't they knew i could just walk one booth down yeah. it's not like i can go to the other store you know no no i'm gonna walk right over there so. <laughs> the good thing the good thing is these are trustworthy people i've been yeah. doing business with a lot of these people for 25 years uh, so it's got your stamp of approval. Absolutely, and oh, yeah. I always I always look into them first before I put them in the shows. Last thing I want to have is a, a bad um, uh, review from somebody saying. Tell they me didn't. about some exciting stuff that, that you think that might might be something shocking or a draw to some of the guests and it make them. Well, really I'll tell you what, I, I was talking to someone today, and it looks like they're going to be able to do the show, and they got hidden rooms. Like a panic room, oh, or, yeah, which is really cool, and cool. Uh, hopefully I'll get them in. I believe he's going to do it. Okay, so, cool. What, but what that's else that's you got? that's pretty neat. I mean, we got the spas. That's super neat. Uh, wait, wait, that, yeah, that's, that's super no. neat. Yeah, You're I'm right on point you. with what I'm asking. Yeah, what's and, that and place on the waterway that's got the bathroom in the back bookshelves? The the Irish pub. On the waterway. The water, oh, uh, 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 um, Baker Street. Baker, Baker Street, Street, the one in the Woodlands? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. They got a bathroom behind the bookshelves. I remember the one night we got a little tipsy and whatnot after a concert, and I saw a dude standing at the bookshelf. Boom, he's gone. It's like, hey, where's the bathroom at? Down there. It's like, where the hell is this at? You got to pull, pull the yeah. book. No, it's not that uh, accessible. But yeah, yeah it's, it's in the dictionary. Neat. You got to pull yeah. that with <laughs> And then all of a sudden it opens up. That's yeah. awesome, man. It's one of those. That's yeah, little rooms. Hey, there's a little bit of everything. I mean, you can find anything from the home, your garage. Slipski. You got Slipski. Uh, the docks out uh, back. Yeah. Correct. And those guys are really Slipsky's good. good. And, uh, and their they're, fishing adventures as well will be there. Slipski's uh, creative, though. They'll, they'll, they'll do a, like a bait table for your cut table out by your dock, or they'll do a lift. They'll do, a, they do all kinds of crazy uh, no stuff. Way. And they're, they're custom. So if you made it up and told them that's what you want to happen at your pier or dock right out behind your house, they'll, make it they'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. They do totally. crazy stuff. Damn. And with quality in care and just that whole it's going to be weathered build you know what i mean and it's always about the aftercare service as well i mean it's one thing to build something but just to make sure it's maintained properly by That's the right. same folks and whatnot absolutely but getting your stamp of approval too it's it's important uh, there's, there's a lot of companies out there that fly by night mm-hmm. i try to stay away from all of those i do my homework before i put somebody in the shows make it safe for you guys you got, to shop uh the palm tree folks what was their name um big uh there's a palm company, a tree company. Annie Stone. Or? Annie Stone is Annie coming. Stone. Yeah, that's not who I was talking about. But those guys are fabulous. You know, they A and E Stone along there on Willis Waukegan. They're out there, uh, like towards Cut and Shoot. Go down a little bit. They're like that hidden gem that, you know, if you can find them, you can save at least thirty percent off mark. You know, because oh, they're, oh, yeah, they're not on the mainstream, so they realize that, and they're more of a. a to suppliers and people that actually the, all the guys that come work on your yard stop there yeah. on the way to bring the stuff to you. You uh, know they're not buying retail. They're not going to Walmart picking up your plants. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Absolutely. They're 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 going to wholesale or wholesale price dealers. Yeah. And Annie on Willis Waukegan uh, Lawn Supply they do all that above. They go concrete land clearing demolitions. Oh, they do it all. Uh, yeah. yeah. The one you're, you're probably thinking about was Moon Valley Nursery. There you go. They're Moon gonna Valley. have a big plant and tree sale. They, they got, got the a big, a huge, spoon ridiculous inside, trees. You, you were talking then, about oh, an, yeah. a, a truck coming or something to bring absolutely, them in there. Absolutely. And they'll have this booth outside at the at the back of the show. Because they and had they'll to. have a booth inside as well. <laughs> they had to put them outside. It was so big, right? But uh, you know, I tell you, the best thing about these home shows is. You can work deals at these shows. They don't want to take the stuff back. They want yeah. to deliver it to your house. Oh, yeah, that's so that's the nice thing about home shows. So go on Sunday. So go on Sunday for <laughs> sure. Be there on Sunday. But that's what I. That's how I started. I went to a show one time. I said, "This is pretty cool." Yeah. And I got some great deals, and I said, "You know what? I could do this." You know, no, and I was gonna say this probably took a lot of work for you. I mean, just listening to all the vendors and all that, yeah. uh, the, the communication, the phone calls. Absolutely. I mean, man, that's a lot I've of. I've been doing it for twenty five years. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot of experience and stuff, and. Uh, just finding the right, the hardest stuff. Anybody can fill up a, um, a hall with exhibitors. 
hardest part is finding different stuff. Like, for yeah. instance, these hidden rooms that I'm, I'm talking about that are just fantastic. Panic rooms. Yeah. Stuff like that. But we talk about it as well, like people producing something but not delivering a product as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we get a lot of production, but, you know, you got to bring it to market. Yeah. You know what I mean? There Absolutely. Say, if you produce a great widget and nobody ever sees it, uses it, or it doesn't retail anywhere, it's like, what yeah. was the widget? So, but... We've noticed that trade shows were a great advantage for people to bring product to market and get in front of their audience with some of the newest, most innovative stuff. Absolutely. That just isn't in the marketplace. They don't have that distribution channel. They don't have a way to get it there yet. That's correct. But one of the ways they establish themselves is it running a home show circuit. You know, and so you'll get some stuff that's just not available to the general public yet because it just doesn't have those avenues of distribution established. So you can't go to Walmart and pick it up. You know, they don't sell it there. They don't sell it anywhere, in fact, except right. this private website. This guy just made it, and it's amazing. And that's why I thought, am I going to go do all the trade shows with this? I saw the guys that do that concrete divider. It was just, like, scientifically fabulous. And yeah. uh, uh, Natural Springs Water Filtration does, does whole house where everything is filtered. You know, we were just talking the other day about Dacia water. The bottled water does see it. Oh, it was, it was like the one with the little puppy thing? No, no, not that one. Those, those <laughs> yeah. are good. Oh, we talked about no, that no, one. Da, da, Dasani. 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 Oh, Dasani, the Coca-Cola. And, and that's a Coca-Cola yeah. product. And, and, and it was on some show about how it was just filtered water, you yeah. know, and... If you look at the back of like the Dannon water, Nestle's Dannon yeah. water, it says it's made in uh, Pureland. Yeah. And I'm thinking, man, if I was going to draw water anywhere in Texas, <laughs> that'd be the fire alley would be the last place, place I'd do it. Yeah. You know, filter that and you're still not good. You know, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you fill it like in the Colorado Rockies, you get it still going yeah. to a plant. It's just filtered tap water from Colorado. You're still upstream. I don't think you need a rocket scientist to figure this out. You know, <laughs> I mean, just saying, yeah. you know, so... If I can get my whole house, get some kind of filtration system in place where I can count on it, depend on it right there with Natural Springs Water Filtration, that will be at the show that has religiously been at home shows. And that is their primary marketing source and, and really have made a career doing that as the, the keystone and filled their bill servicing Sci Fair, Katie, and just how powerful these shows can be for these vendors. And when they're meaningful, and especially in a place like Texas, I. I think every house in here should have one. I mean, have you seen your spigot lately? No, know. but it's actually funny you said that uh, there's this uh, dude, Shami. Have you heard of him on Facebook? <laughs> the Australian dude. No, no. So they connected the whole house to a keg and a whole bunch of other... Uh, so beer comes out of everything? Everything. Even the bathtub, dude. It was awesome. I'll you got you one of those at your show? Yeah. I got to find one? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I swear, I'll send you the video. It's, uh, the guy's name is Shami, but he does all these uh, little prank stuff and whatnot, but he's from Australia. So obviously he's a sheep. Wow. Show, but no. Send it to me. I'd love dude, to see it. Shami's awesome. got it going on. Yeah. You know, I, I was thinking get those two egg glue things like on the uh, and and have one with uh, white wine and yeah. one red wine, and you just one's got an R, one's yeah. got a W, and you just and just all around. Yeah, the you property. got the faucets coming in your bathtub yeah. and said, "Cheers." Watch that. Again. Oh, that's a Stella sink. That's <laughs> <laughs> a Stella sink. That's premium. Yes, go, premium. Go yeah, to kid, local. Kids' bathrooms got yeah. the Tahitian treat. You know, you can go over there. You know, and this show is not sponsored or endorsed by any of the following beverage makers. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nevertheless, um, so uh, August 27th and 28th, Margaritaville. So if you like home shows already, just add Lake. If you have not been going to any home mm -hmm. shows because you just don't want to bother driving here or doing that, we don't have to if you're in Walden. Just roll on over there. You can Come ride a boat. bike, yeah. boat over, swim over. And it ain't, not, it ain't swim the English Channel. I mean, yeah, you can swim from... Everybody out here has done that swim before. You know, it's not like it's a big deal. I want to see you swim across the lake. Oh, I can't swim across the lake, I, but I can sure as hell swim from Del Lago to my house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an easy one. He's and, more and, drifting than anything else. Yeah, and, and, and I, I was told He's Tom Hanks with his little, own, little volleyball thing. Rinkers will give you a little tour around, let you... Let you you know, yeah. check one out, Dude, you that's know, give awesome. you a little taste, a little flavor. I mean, you can talk them into just about anything while you're back there. Just pretend like you're trying to buy a boat. She'll yeah. take you for a cruise. I don't say that. I'll, dude, the you should not say that? No, I don't think it's yeah, going to be a little... you know that boat, you pretend. I promise when you come back, you're for real. <laughs> You'll pretend to get on the boat. Yeah. You'll be for real when you come back. <laughs> yeah, go on. Pretend your butt all the way out there on Lake Rinkers will have some... Yeah, they'll be ready Rinkers for you. Rinkers are awesome, dude. Yeah, Katie Rinkers is a awesome. phenomenal lady. They, they'll uh, they'll have some a couple of pontoons out there, silver yeah. uh, pontoons, That's and fabulous. then uh, cobalts. 
Yeah. And, and, and this this will happen August 27, 28, so you can go get your Cobalt. Yeah. Now, now, we've already seen the resale values on these Cobalts. I mean, we picked one up for, I picked one up for a used one on the resale market for about eleven grand. Yeah. Resold that same boat three, three years later. later. Well, yeah. two, two, three summers later, it was really two and a half years. Right in there. But same price. Price. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a boat that can hold its value to yeah. Absolutely. Make the investment. Otherwise, you got to buy it brand new, sell it while it's still semi new, and be really close. Yeah. You need a good dealer because he could probably get you the same price. But if your boat's like a, one, I don't want to throw any names out there, but I know a few on top of my head that'll immediately lose value like a vehicle when you roll it off the lot. You're not going to sell it for what the dealer just sold it to you for, even if you got one mile on the thing. No way. No way. You won't sell it like the dealer can because you ain't a dealer. That's what they'll tell you. I mean, that's why we, you know. Let's stay with a good one, huh? Yeah. So when you get a boat that you can you can turn this way, it's a great way to keep your money and stay on that lake, keep your feet wet. You can do that um, and, and look over everything and get it in a real competitive environment right there at, at the Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor mm-hmm. Living Show. Uh, a great way to put people, keep them on their toes. I mean, if a one vendor wants to tell you, hey, this is what we always charge for this. Well, man, I same product that guy over there selling it yeah. for this i mean if the conversation is nah, there I, go to the other guy you know what i mean and, and, but it's nice because you don't have those advantages as a consumer on the street for eight dollars no you're gonna have to drive how much gas out just to go to the next spot we and, 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 and we're, and we're yeah. disarmed as a, as a buyer i walk into a, 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 yeah. a, 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 a contractor's place of business He's got me. I've already confessed by walking in that door. I need something. You know what I mean? So he's got me. If I go into a home show, I'm just here for the home show. We're, yeah, I did. I got a, got a good glass of wine going to one minute. They don't like, know that yeah. I really need a roof really bad. Yeah. They don't know that. For, you know what I'm looking for here today. You know, but if I walk into their shop, they know good and well mm-hmm. what I'm looking for. And they got me. So I got an advantage as a consumer here. And I feel really good about that. So when I go, I can get an objection at pricing. I can get, I can get a competitive environment. And I can get the advantage, and because oh, yeah. the advantage for consumers is a thing of the past. In the old days, you know, we could shake a man's hand. You could get your, you could talk about it. We could work on it, and you know, about a week later, we'd get somebody to tell me what my roof's really going to cost. Mm-hmm. You know, and we'd get it done. Absolutely. Those days are gone now, right? We go online, they get a satellite measuring my roof, and they come back and tell me a bit on a computer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about all that, you know. <laughs> like, well, that's what it costs. Yeah, but if see, you don't like it, you're probably not ready for a roof like this. Yeah. Probably not, you know. I mean, so, and, and it goes with every bit, you know, every bit. And yeah. if they're all there in front of me, we can talk about this. now, Because that's all I ever wanted to do. It's kind of like when I was a little kid and I get in trouble. <laughs> Mom, can we talk about this? No. No, we ain't talking. Nope. Yeah, yeah she knows what like, yeah, no. She's not she going to stand a chance with them. You had to slip in the hand and say, we ain't talking. <laughs> Just go running, you know. It's like, oh, here she goes. You don't uh, want to talk. <laughs> We're in trouble. Oh my you know, goodness! It's so much nicer to be able to yeah. talk about it. I, I I can't tell you that it, it it can help your price. It can it can it can really help the, your new home build. I mean, you got Gary Green coming out there, Green Home Builds, and you've got a, a lot of people that take you from dirt to fruition, you yeah. know, and get you through the whole Green thing. Custom Homes. Yes. Yeah, and there, there's a lot of that out there. So it's a real nice advantage to have all the players on the field to be able to totally. Talk it out, get mm-hmm. to know somebody, and really talk to a man that's going to do the job for you. And, and we brought up some ridiculous stuff on that, you know, crazy happenings that can happen and outcomes. And, you know, just bringing some extremes just to just to let your thoughts wander on why this is such an ad- advantageous mm-hmm. spot for a consumer to be in. And, mm-hmm. and I know the, the uh, vendors understand this. You know, they they're, they're came to play. They came to bring their best face. They came, you know, like a, a street bazaar in Sri Lanka. You know, they're ready to go. They're ready to get competitive. Yeah. And if they're not, they probably, you know, need to think this whole home show thing out because this is where that happens. If you're in Sri Lanka, I could be selling you a backpack, right? And three booths down, the guy sells backpacks that are not even remotely similar but can still carry your stuff. They're yelling at each other. He's over there cross you from down the hall. How did he come up with backpacks? Whatever. I would have said a cricket bat because they're actually really good at cricket. Straw hats. <laughs> pal, pa, pa, what a backpack. <laughs> But anyway, you know, awesome. I love that competitive, that get out there. You know, do you still make them stay behind the line in their booth where they can't they come out? They stay inside the there. I do have something pretty unique, which is uh, – a, uh, a Pedico bikes, the electric bikes are big oh. now, and they're gonna oh, they're gonna have a, a beautiful booth over there, promoting their electric bikes. Dude, those are amazing, awesome. They yeah. go seventy five miles. Yeah, on charge seventy five miles. 
That's Doth, crazy. Doth wants me to go to uh, Idaho with my daughter. I have one. I mind those Did 32 really miles was, an hour. I thought you were really pedaling. No, I was pedaling. Well, you, you have to get it up, yeah. Exactly. You pedal. But when you get tired, you yeah. get a hill, you kick that thing in if yeah. you're and up. Yeah, it helps you out a little bit, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Man, it, it looked like a beautiful ride, but uh-huh. you're in like... Whole thing uh, quarter like lane, yeah, dude, it was awesome. Saver, you know yeah. that quarter lane place is gorgeous. Yeah, right? we were go, lucky. Man. At least two, three months a year, you can go there and get the best views mm-hmm. of your life. But the rest of the time, it's an excess. Yeah, so it's a little of everything. It's a lot of home stuff. Uh, you know, like I said, bicycles, uh, which is uh, something that. Uh, Where can people... I find you online and get those tickets again? Uh, QualityHomeShows.com. Okay. Okay. And uh, the show is August twenty seventh, twenty eighth, Margaritaville, Lake Connor. And if you don't know where that is, <laughs> Google it. It's ten Margarita. o'clock. Ten o'clock to six p.m. on Saturday. Sundays from ten to five. Okay, great. And you've got food. We've got drinks. We've got all the booths. We've got uh, boats on the water. Oh yeah. Go afterwards to the Walden Yacht Club. And go yeah. Listen to yeah. Some music. Catch brunch or something afterwards. You know. At the, at the yacht club. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's 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 a, it's a community. If you haven't been to Walden, yeah. so you'll be yeah, driving into the Walden community where the Margaritaville Resort exists on so Walden Road. Awesome, so yeah. And it's right past that bridge when you get out into the peninsula almost, you mm-hmm. know. So you'll you'll cross into Walden off Highway 105 West, take a right, go down into Walden, and boom, there it is on the right-hand side. It's hard to miss. Yeah. Hard but to it's, miss. It's in Walden, practically. Yeah. So, I mean, the the, the invite uh, stands. There's a lot of great places inside the neighborhood Maybe itself right, to grab a bite. And, as Big well as they, mm-hmm. and they serve food at... Uh, Margaritaville, and you have a, a food truck too, right? That's correct. I yeah, have two so different food trucks. There's that. Mm. We can all sample B52 until he kicks us out, and then we can go like get a local drink somewhere or whatever, you know. I mean, there's options, you know. Robin's going to be there. So. Oh, dude, Bernard Wiley. She always does that over uh-huh. samples from me. I think she likes me. I get the big sample. You know, there's like the everybody else gets one like this, and mine's like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and they got lady. some of the wines that she knows I like. They She's got a good some lady, over there dude. that'll crush me, dude. I like that port. I, I, the Cobb Frank, that's your favorite, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and I, I'm lost in this place. She knows. She can just hypnotize me. Here, Armando, go sit in the corner, you know, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he did leave to the corner. <laughs> he went over there. This is like yeah. my mom with the slippers. Hey, I'll go to the corner. Yeah. I got you hypnotized. Oh yeah, she got me. Yeah, yeah. They that's hypnotic over there. I heard Jerry just doing amazing stuff. Oh yeah, dude. Cool. Really, just so cool. What a great visit. Always a good time over there. And they've got all kinds of stuff. Follow mm-hmm. them, please. Bernhardt Bernhardt Winery in, in Plannersville, Texas. Um, we're gonna wrap up and uh, um, again invite them to come get their tickets and save three dollars on the website. And you can qualityhomeshows.com. There you go. And, and there'll be some links underneath. There, there's an invitation uh, a group event on Facebook. You can just. Look them up there and uh, some of those other things. And follow along. See all the vendors going to be there. And, and hopefully it fits you and what you got going on at your home or what you're even thinking about doing come wintertime. And um, lots of different stuff. Lots of different uh, – an adventure in itself out there. You know, just yeah. some, a lot of options. So there's got to be something for everybody as well as – it might be a five-dollar way to sneak into Margaritaville. I mean, I, 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 it, it is. That's it, a cool spot, man. It is super cool. Well, thank you for coming, Mr. Castro. And, thank you uh, for having me. Awesome to meeting you, Lake sir. Conroe Cheers. Home and Art Dole Living Show, August 27th, 28th. We'll be right back to wrap up our show today. Thank you for coming out for us. See you later. Hey, this is Wayne Green, your host for Radio Wayne, Spoke and More. Each Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m., I'll be playing folk, singer-songwriter, Americana, blues, bluegrass, classic country, Cajun Zydeco, Celtic swing, and whatever else seems to fit. Once again, that's Radio Wayne's Folk and More, every Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m. on Lone Star Community Radio. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Oh, that's Texas awesome, dude. Ticket. Oh, man, it was good guests as well. Just good, informative stuff, yeah. Right. And this show is sponsored by the Lake Conroe Home and Outdoor Living Show, and I know you've had plenty of those guys over the past few weeks, but, man, it is show time. time. August yep. 27, 28, Margaritaville and Lake Conroe. You can catch those guys there. And a whole lot more about that uh, Bentwater Life thing going on. Uh, we got the Labor Day uh, festivals going on all dude, over the place. Dude, a ton of stuff going on as well, but the Quality Homes, uh, was it qualityhome.com? qualityhomeshows.com Dot com. Yeah, yeah dude yeah. I mean I'm excited excited to get, to get on there here. so all that's coming up um, and, and I appreciate you guys sticking it out with this now our show is brought to you by sponsors just like yourself please feel free to go to 
uh, LoneStarRadio.com, uh, Conroe's Lone Star Radio. Mm -hmm. You can find us online. It's in the links below. And you can make a contribution there to the show. You can pledge. We are looking for sponsors. You can find us at Facebook.com slash TXTicket. If you'd like to appear on the show, please take an opportunity to send us a message. You know, uh, if you'd like to any kind of our support, give us a call. 409-692-5753. Catch you back here <laughs> next week. Friday, 1 o'clock. Yeah, buddy. Just tips. <laughs>